Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have started rolling out this week's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build for the Dev Channel Insiders, Preview Build 25163. And the Dev Channel builds normally uh, roll out on the Wednesday of every week, and that was on the 20th of July, which was yesterday in my region. Now there are a couple of new features worth mentioning for you today in this video. And um, that's just to keep you up to, up to speed if you are interested as to new developments and features that Microsoft is working on and testing in the Dev Channel. As it is possible that some of these new features, as I do mention, could roll out to an up and coming stable version of Windows 11 in the future. Now, just to take a look at some of those uh, key highlights, just using some screenshots uh, taken from the release notes. And as we can see from the first screenshot, there's a new taskbar overflow. And uh, Microsoft says that this is a new experience that has been thoughtfully crafted to offer a more productive switching and launching experience when space is constrained. And they say the taskbar will automatically transition into this new overflow state uh, when it has hit its maximum capacity. So that's when your taskbar becomes full of icons. And they mention that in this state, um, the taskbar will offer an entry point, which is the three dotted menu, to an overflow menu that will allow you to view all your overflowed apps in one space. And they also mention uh, that uh, the overflow menu will contain uh, many of the current taskbar behaviors that uh, users are familiar with. And a couple of examples are supporting pinned apps, jump list, and, and extended UI. And um, they say that after enabling the overflow, or as they, Microsoft puts it, invoking the overflow, uh, the menu will quietly dismiss once you click outside of it or navigate to another app and application. So I think this will be a nice handy feature if and when it does roll out to the stable version. Now, just to look at the next uh, two screenshots and these next two features, um, Microsoft also rolled out to the beta channel insiders this week. So um, the next two features are regarding um, improved uh, sharing. And um, that's uh, for both being tested now for both the beta and the dev channel. And in case you missed the uh, beta channel uh, video I did post yesterday, um, the improved nearby sharing, um, according to Microsoft, they say that apps um, that use the built-in Windows share window have been enhanced by using UDP. And they mentioned for that uh, to work network, your network needs to be set to private along with Bluetooth uh, to discover nearby devices. And then that means that you will now be able to discover and share to more devices, including uh, desktop PCs. And then the next one, also as mentioned, being tested in the beta channel as well, uh, is you can share local files to OneDrive. And um, apps that use the built-in Windows share window can use OneDrive as a target to directly upload the file to OneDrive and share it further along with access control options. And Microsoft mentions that all this can be done right from sharing local files in File Explorer um, without any context switches or opening the OneDrive app. So that's two new sharing options now also being tested in the, uh, the Dev Channel as well, alongside with the Beta Channel, which both rolled out this week. And um, there's also an update to the Microsoft Store for Dev Channel Insiders this week, which now bumps that version of the store up to uh, 22,206.1401.2.0, which has a couple of improvements. And the two highlights there that Microsoft does mention, um, you can browse and search with updated price designs, um, as we can see in this screenshot, where they say they've made it easier to understand the prices. So you will have all the info you need when searching for a new app, game, or movie in the store. And then the final screenshot, um, and the second highlight to that update to the store, a new there's new ways to find game editions. So you can find different game editions now, where they say they've made it easier to find different editions of a game. Um, you can view standard or deluxe editions. Um, so you can choose the game you want to play. And that's the two editions now that have and updates the key highlights they've rolled out uh, to the Microsoft Store now as well with that update to the store for the Dev Channel Insiders. And then um, as always, I will leave the release notes uh, in the description if you're interested as over and above those new features. And um, there's all those different fixes and improvements 
and bug fixes that have rolled out with build 25163 uh, which is that latest dev channel build for this week which Microsoft started making available um, on the 20th of July. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.